Hello there, IBC Bond. Thank you for joining me for this next video. It is one of uh, our final ones. We are very close to the end, and I want to thank you for joining me in this journey. In this video, as we talk about the, uh, the Constitution, and in this portion of the videos, the bylaws of the church, how the church operates, uh, in this video we'll be addressing the important topic of what do we believe about personnel. Now, personnel are those individuals in the church, either those who are employed or those who are uh, volunteer, but those who are involved in some form of uh, recognized position, a leadership role of one kind or another. And in the bylaws of the Constitution, which will be provided for you and you'll be asked to read through, it will lay out the process uh, that we have outlined for the selection and training, the confirmation um, of these individuals. But the really important principle for you to understand from this video is that church members have an essential role in nominating, affirming, and holding accountable the pastors, elders, deacons, and administrators of the local church. It's up to the individual members to affirm that these individuals who are nominated are uh, meet the biblical requirements for the role. It's up to the members to vote to affirm them as uh, into their particular roles. And it's also up to the members to hold the leaders of the church accountable. Um, this is, can all be found in section two of the bylaws, um, but here are some biblical passages that I would encourage you to look into. Um, these uh, passages are sources for us as we develop a biblical wisdom about personnel. Now, regarding the lead pastor, the lead pastor is nominated by a search committee that is made up of church members. So church members in the future, um, for future pastors of the church, the, the members themselves would uh, create a committee that would search for the, the church's next pastor. Uh, then the, the lead pastor is then called by the church to serve as pastor if he is approved by a vote of the members. And again, in the bylaws, it gives more precise details, but it's important for you to understand, uh, unlike certain uh, other church traditions where a bishop is able to send pastors to various churches and make decisions from the top <clears throat> about where uh, the pastors will be uh, serving, uh, in what churches, and a bishop sends them. In the Baptist tradition, it is understood from, a, from the bottom up where the church recognizes someone and issues the call to that pastor and says, come, be our pastor. And that is done as, uh, as a church body. Finally, this calling of the pastor is to be reaffirmed every three years by a vote of confidence. So what is in mind here is that the local church has to continue to reaffirm this call that yes, uh, this is the pastor that we want uh, pastoring, leading uh, this church, leading us as a body of believers. And that confidential vote is, is done every three years to reaffirm that call. Uh, elders and deacons. When we talk about elders and deacons, it's important to understand that they exist to serve the church. Secondly, they are nominated, approved, and affirmed by the members. So in months and years to come, when the church uh, wants to uh, nominate, wants, needs new elders, needs deacons to fulfill certain roles, uh, the, the elders will come to the, the members and ask for nominations for specific uh, roles. 
So it's up to the, the members to nominate people for these positions, to be approved by the members, and to be affirmed by the members. Uh, they are trained for their roles by the existing elders. Those elders who are currently serving as elders are essential to the training of, of those uh, who will serve as elders, uh, those men who will serve as elders and those men and women who will serve as deacons. The elders and deacons are held accountable by the members, and this is important for you to understand as well. And one of the ways that those are held accountable is that they uh, are in their role for a limited term, uh, depending on the case, uh, for a limited term, but can be reaffirmed into their role. I hope this is uh, helpful to you. We are in a, a, a category of Christian life, which is about using the Bible to, to seek to gain wisdom, uh, biblical wisdom. Um, there's, there's no passage I can give you that outlines the, the, the detailed process for doing all these things. Uh, but over the years, there has been great wisdom that has been gained. And um, the, so it's important for you to understand, again, that you play an essential role uh, in all of these things. I want to thank you for joining me for this video. I, I pray that you're continually blessed uh, by these and that it will continue to produce a fruitful conversation. God bless you.